In this video I will show you one of the best methods you can use for organizing and numbering your drawings. I tried to make this presentation as short as possible, plus I have included links where you can read and download all info. Often consultants use different drawing numbering methods which creates confusion between team members. I have found that one of the simplest and best standards for drawing numbering is actually the US National CAD standard. For each drawing, the method includes three components, a letter for the discipline designator, a single number for the sheet type, and a sequential numbering starting from one up to any number. So let's take an in-depth look at each component. First, the discipline designator is actually a letter picked from the table on the right, corresponding to the discipline or trade of the drawing. For example, P for plumbing, E for electrical, S for structural, A for architectural, and so on. So instantly, one can easily identify the trade of the drawing just by looking at the first letter. Now let's move on to the second component. This is a single number digit to identify the type of drawing. Each number corresponds to a specific type of drawing, these being plan views, elevations, sections, details, schedules, and so on. The numbering system is picked up from the table. This also helps organize drawings of the same trait based on their type, plus allows for easily adding or removing drawings if needed. The last component is a standard sequence number used to organize drawings on the same trait and type in order. So let's have a look at a few examples. Assuming a drawing is numbered A204, we immediately know that this is an architectural drawing. The number 2 indicates that this drawing belongs to the elevation views group and it is the fourth drawing. Another example will be the drawing numbered I316. This will be an interior design drawing, it is actually a sectional view and it is the 16th drawing in the series. Now that we've mastered assigning numbers to our drawings, we might want to introduce a second letter to indicate the purpose of the drawing, the purpose designator. Assume we have a drawing numbered E12. We know that this is a plan view electrical drawing and we can now introduce the letter P to designate the purpose as a power related drawing. If we change this letter to L, the drawing now becomes a lighting drawing. There is a table you can use for the purpose designator, but anyone can introduce custom lettering. Again, all information presented here can be found and downloaded using the links in the description below. And what better way to accompany your drawings with our drawing registry and distribution Excel template. Thanks for watching.